What's up guys, it's Shrek and Jinx. You guys have just told me that you really like seeing Jinx. So Jinx is actually about the same size as this box, but she just wanted to duck onto YouTube and say, hello everybody. We'll see your next video. But right now let's talk about what's inside this. <laughs> All right, so this box actually is the result of a guy on Instagram, a follower DMing me. And if you're not already hanging out with me on Instagram, but this was a $45 package on Amazon. That's Amazon with Prime Delivery, and I just couldn't believe it. So I actually spent the $45 so that we could suffer together, friends. This is supposed to be an entire Strife M16 kit with Select Fire all in one box. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we've got. We've got what appears to be a barrel and a shroud, and it's injection molded, not 3D printed. Hilariously, we've got a PMAG, instructions, oh God. More stuff, what appears to be the same as worker barrel material, a worker stock, a ton of those just absolutely garbo darts, and no way, here's a few like teeth deletes. Is this, this is hard to believe, this is a, Lion battery that comes with a lead directly attached to it and a charger that charges via USB. This is dangerous. And then sure enough, an already built, already installed Strife knockoff that appears to be... That's a micro switch. There's just no way. There's no way. Guys, it's such a blatant ripoff. I can't believe it came from Amazon. It's literally a strife where they switched this panel here and then changed the battery door on the other side. And it feels light. It feels lightweight compared to a strife. Whereas normally this would have nothing here. It's off one, three and in. If in, I guess is the one, two. There's a three round burst feature. Guys, we gotta plug it in. Forget the kit, is this a $45 auto strife? All right, so it doesn't want to open, which is a, a little concerning, but we'll uh, go ahead and give it the claw. Inspector Gadget. It opened. All right, battery in. <laughs> Even Jinx is confused. Assuming the battery came charged in the package, that would be, let's, let's do semi. Okay, so it sounds it sounds like it's in pain. Uh, we'll give it a full charge before we finish the review, but just for fun. All right, so we've gone ahead and we took a brief pause here just to kind of marvel at the audacity of this company. And also we plugged in the, uh, the Lion battery for two hours. Uh, just, just incredible. A few minute differences between an actual factual strife and this would, uh, would really just include the switch positioning, the fact that the battery door is a little bit smaller to undoubtedly accommodate for like custom guts that fit this thing's select fire and pusher in here. But the fact that it's made into a battery means that you don't have to worry about burning it out with a lipo, which is pretty crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this. It does come with a magazine and darts, so theoretically everything that we need to get this guy rocking and rolling is included, but we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna jump cut, slap all of this stuff on. All right, so it's not a joke, guys. Now, there are parts of it that are pretty funny. This is the cheapest kit I've ever felt. Even the, you know, 11.05555 3D printed kits from way back when felt really sturdy. They had decent infill, they had some perimeters. This is the thinnest blow mold injection part I've ever felt. It barely feels sturdy. Like this is so hollow. It's like the kind of thing where like if you put hot food from a microwave in it, like I've had to go containers that are thicker than this kit. But as far as the silhouette goes, it's not a joke. I mean, it's seriously there. Like that's, that's what it looks like. The stock in and of itself is probably the best part of the cheap thing. Like, and the fact that this kit goes for about what it would cost you to buy a Strife and a stock is ridiculous. The Strife itself, for lack of, I mean, I could call it a Q and X, I guess, is also very, very thin. If you take a look at the molding in there, uh, pretty thin walls, very flexy. I can uh, I can squish that way easier than I could say a Strife. Uh, the overall tolerances on it are not super duper great, uh, but it's so cheap. You can basically buy this full kit for what it costs to get a Strife 
right now on Amazon. So now before I fire it, I do want to point out some things that are just flat wrong. So first off, I'm amazed that they didn't just go all the way and make this a murdered out strife. Like the fact that they made their knockoff strife and they still made it orange hilariously with the white stripes on the side is, uh, is just laughable. But they did still give it a black muzzle. So it's like an orange blaster with a black muzzle. I have no idea how they're importing that to the States. I have no idea how they're selling it legally in the States, but it's kind of wild to me that they didn't just murder the entire thing out. The whole product is confusing and we'll get into the legalities of it at the end of the video. But right now we're here to uh, talk about how incredibly cheap it is, but at the same time, how good it looks. Sizing is solid. This is one of the best stocks. Of course, this is a knockoff of a knockoff of a knockoff. So you've originally got the lightning storm stock, which, you know, was knocked off by a worker and then was knocked off without the lightning in here and has become what people now refer to as the AK stock, even though it's not uh, Kalishnikov-esque enough to me. It's really just a straight rip of the Lightning Storm stocks mold, which was an old Super Soaker back when InStrike and Super Soaker had some blend. That said, uh, your history lesson aside, this is one of the better nerf stock that's been around. This one's just kind of cheap, kind of flimsy, but the molding is good enough that it actually feels really, really good. Now, the PMAG is pretty normal. This is like a worker style PMAG that they must have gotten the mold for or just bought off of worker. Again, the provenance of this kit is unknown to me. It showed up in an Instagram DM from somebody that I trust who's just a United States North American nerfer. And I bought it on Amazon, honestly thinking that it was going to be a scam. So I'm pretty blown away here. But let's put it in semi-auto. So this is one per. And it fired, it fired these admittedly garbage, like elite suction cup knockoff darts, but it fired one. How quick can I pound through those? Serious delay between the pusher going and the dart actually hitting the flywheels. Now the flywheels themselves would be worth, you know, 15, $16 because peeking in here, it looks like they're ribbed and concave. I can't make flywheels for the same cost as these. Like, I think that my flywheels are infinitely better than these flywheels, but they're better than Hasbro's flywheels, like a lot better. It's like they took a bunch of, you know, industry knowledge and a bunch of tinkering knowledge and just slapped it all into the cheapest injection molding machine they could find. Let's see how their circuit board holds up. Let's put it into three round burst, which is my favorite way to fire. Three round burst feels a lot like semi-auto, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe if I hold it down, maybe that's the trick. All right, so let's take the uh, the three round burst and see if we hold down the trigger, if that's what does it. Off, one, two, okay. Okay, and then it just stops firing. And then of course you got full auto. All right, so just for giggles with these flywheels and this funky Lion battery, let's uh, let's take our Kalishnikova cheapo model and uh, get cheeky bricky cheapy with it over on the chronograph. My friends, we are outside with ballistic precision chronograph. We are going to take the uh, Kalishnikov, the people's weapon. We are going to put it over, get numbers for you. Let's do this. First, we turn blaster on. It's good. Well, you know, that's, uh, I found the shortcoming, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just get a couple more. And so like, in the world that we live in, 
this is very, very low performance because people are selling performance-based blasters nowadays and uh, barely getting 60 is not going to cut it. That said, it's important to remember that a stock strife barely gets 60. Stock strifes float right at 68 to 72, 73 or so. In all honesty, they've done an excellent job of ripping off the strife, which if I'm going to fire a few downrange here, actually might be more accurate now. Pardon the, uh, pardon the mess in the workshop kind of area here. We're in a state of constant progress. Let's do some three round bursts and see how tight those groupings are. Well, we had a misfire. So I'm gonna be honest, even though it's firing garbage Chinese darts, the use of concave flywheels is actually making this a much more accurate than Hasbro product. Now, the rate of fire is atrocious. This is a very, very slow product. Um, but you know, with angled shots here, wait, we can't actually mag flip because Jinx is here. Jinxie, Jinxie, what do you think of this? You interested at all? What do you think? Not even a little bit. You'd rather have the pine cone, right? Pine cone? Kalishnikov? <laughs> Correct. So compatibility with regular in strike magazines and slightly more reasonable darts seems to be flawless. I mean, for all intents and purposes, down to the checkering and the uh, the bandolier strap and the in strike attachment point in the back here, this is a strife. Like, it's unbelievable. Now the rate of fire having a fully electronic pusher is slower than it would be with just regularly kind of a semi-autoing. The, uh, the blaster, but I just wanted to take a second to talk about like, even in my backyard, this feels pretty sinister. Like this is 100% like a prop toy or a closed field only toy. And the place that it has in our hobby is really delicate because you could use it on a closed field, but then why wouldn't you buy, like if you're building one of these, build a nice one. The body kit looks good, but it's incredibly cheap. It feels cheap to hold. And the entire blaster uh, is clearly missing a lot of plastic because the whole thing just feels lighter. And I just gotta tell you guys, with all the humility that I can muster, I've held a thousand stripes. I've held every different batch number, every different paint color, things that have been modified with metal cages, with Delrin wheels, with cheap stuff, with out of darts instant tontos. Literally, we once drilled a bunch of holes in Swiss cheese to strife to make it as light as we possibly could. And something about this just feels off. It feels very lightweight, even with a body kit on it. It's just, it's just very funky. And the electronic response from the trigger is slow. It's lethargic, but it is a full select fire kit inside a product that costs $45 with a body kit and you get an actual factual strife. I think that there's nothing that would stop me from gutting this open and giving it the full Nix cage treatment. In fact, I almost want to try. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know, should I modify this thing? It'd be super easy to strip the kit off of it and, uh, and really, really mess with it. But the only things that they've taken off are all of the different Hasbroid things. It doesn't say strife here. On the back here, there's no Nerf logo. There's not even any warning text telling you like, you know, not to shoot at humans or animals, or ironically, not to modify the blaster or darts. The whole product just feels like an anomaly and realistically, it shouldn't exist. And if it was going to exist, it feels like the kind of thing that you'd find five years from now, like wandering through the fruit market at 2 a.m. in Hong Kong. Like, it's just wild to me that it's on Amazon at a price that's basically lower than its original at this point with a ton of goodies on and some actual factual improvements in the form of like real circuitry, dedicated battery tray, and better flywheels. Like the whole thing is just kind of spooky that we've gotten to the point that this is so blatantly out there that it can just be ripped off. And if Hasbro's products aren't safe, are anybody's? I don't know. Uh, nobody really watched my video about Lucian's Charity Blaster for the uh, Electronic Frontier Foundation. And it, it sort of breaks my heart that like my charity videos just get no views, whereas like, you know, my clickbait expensive blaster videos uh, do get views. So if you're still watching at this point, because we're obviously gonna clickbait the heck out of this for effectively being stolen intellectual property that shouldn't be on Amazon, you should let me know what you think about all that. Cause like, this is wild. And I know that some people are gonna watch this video and be like, hey, that's pretty cool. And they're gonna go search this thing up on Amazon. In fact, I'll put a link to it in Amazon because by linking to it, it'll, uh, it'll get taken down that much faster. But uh, what an absolutely wild uh, concept. And again, 
Like, nobody is good or evil here. These guys are just doing what they can to make a product that's been artificially inflated cheaper and better. I myself make products that are aftermarket products for this exact blaster geometry that I consider to be of an incredible uh, high quality control and a performance-based threshold. But um, this is weird. This is weird. It's, it's, I can't quite put my finger on why it feels so weird. But uh, I think that we're just like one step away from ultra, ultra cheap caliber knockoffs, which could be great for the hobby or destroy it, depending upon which way the needle falls at that point in time. But that is the Kalishnikov Strife Kit that comes with a Strife and a bunch of goodies for less money than I could ever possibly imagine 10 years ago. Just wild. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really would like to have a thoughtful and intellectual conversation in the comment section down below, which I know is like dangerous to even ask for on YouTube, but this is such a funky anomaly. I couldn't believe it showed up and it showed up with two day shipping. Wild. Thanks so much for watching. Definitely let me know you guys' thoughts. Much love, blast on, Drek out. Uh -huh.